So this one right here is uh, not really exciting at low power, but here's normal skin out here, normal epidermis. And then look at this abrupt transition to kind of uh, acanthotic epidermis where the keratinocytes become quite enlarged. And again, like we talked about, many types of viruses cause nuclear and cytoplasmic enlargement of keratinocytes. Many of the viruses that affect keratinocytes do that. And um, you can see the nuclei are big and pale, but the most striking thing here is the cytoplasm, which suddenly has this really unique, beautiful blue-gray color, and instead of the pinkish kind of color. And so this, uh, this change, uh, it, this is called epidermodysplasia verruciformis, EDV. This is basically a variant of Veruca plana, in my, in my thinking. It's an HPV infection, and there are a variety of different HPV serotypes that have a tendency to cause this pattern. Um, and uh, it, for some reason, makes the keratinocytes get this cool cytoplasmic change that looks very beautiful and blue. Um, and then also, it will have other features, kind of like a flat wart. Um, sometimes papillomatosis, not so much in this case, but also hypergranulosis, which I feel is a, is a characteristic feature seen in all the different types of HPV infection in the skin. It's very common to see large, dark, hypergranular um, uh, keratohyaline granules in the stratum corneum. Okay, so that, that change is EDV change. We can see that in a few different settings. The name actually, epidermodysplasia verruciformis, I abbreviate it EDV, some people abbreviate it EV whichever you like, um, it was described as a syndrome, and those are in people that have a, a germline defect in the EVER1 or EVER2 genes that predisposes them to HPV infection uh, with these subtypes of HPV, and they get many, many of these often darkly pigmented Veruca plana type flat warts that have this feature microscopically, and those patients um, uh, have a higher risk of developing squamous cell carcinoma. So um, that's a, a problematic um, and, and somewhat serious disease for people that are afflicted by it. I've only seen a couple of cases of real germline epidermodysplasia verusa wormis in my practice um, in real life. But we see this finding incidentally as little tiny incidental foci in the skin of older adults next to skin cancers all the time. And I don't even usually mention it when it's just a small incidental focus. It's just a small finding that we see and on a relatively regular basis. But the reason I think it's good to know about for those cases is just so you, when you see this, you know what it is. Um, sometimes the little incidental findings in pathology don't matter much most of the time, but they matter when you notice it and it makes you worry about something more nefarious. So that's why I find it's good to know what all these little focal incidental findings are. Plus to me, it's kind of one of the fun things about Dermpath that adds kind of granular knowledge uh, to our learning that uh, if you're a nerd like me, it makes it more fun. And in this case, if this were, you know, this lesion was clearly what the dermatologist was biopsying. So I would personally call this Veruca plana with epidermodysplasia verruciformis features. And if it was uncertain what the context was, I would bring up that if this patient has many uh, flat wart like lesions over the body, they should get worked up for genetic abnormality of ever one or ever two. Or I've also seen uh, lesions that were large flat warts like this in the setting of transplant or other immune suppression. And I've sometimes seen areas that look like this mingle with squamous cell carcinoma in situ in transplant patients. So those are a few different settings when I've seen um, EDV epidermodysplasia bruciformis. And I have uh, many other posts about this on my Kiko, um, Kiko Mega Index of Dermpath. So you can check those out if you want to see other examples. I think this case actually, I believe this case actually was from a patient with, with confirmed um, epidermodysplasia bruciformis, uh, if I recall.